everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. No matter where you are, no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. Hooray! In our devotion time today, we're going to be talking about one of the miracles of Jesus. That's one of the extraordinary things that Jesus did whilst he was on earth. And it's the healing of a daughter of a man called Jairus. But that wasn't the only person he healed on that day. We're going to find out what happened when Jesus walked through the streets that day to see Jairus' daughter. Reading the story of Jairus' daughter from Mark chapter 5. When Jesus was walking through the town one day, a ruler of the synagogue called Jairus, ran up to him. He knelt in front of Jesus. My little daughter is very ill. I think she's dying. Please come to my house and put your hands on her and she may get better, he begged. As Jesus started to go with Jairus, a woman pushed through the crowd, following them to get near to Jesus. She had been ill for 12 years and none of the doctors had been able to help her. She only got worse. She had heard of Jesus. She thought, if only I could touch his clothes. I know I will be well at last. When she was close, she put out her hand and touched him. At once, she was completely cured. Wow. Jesus looked at the people crowding around him. Who touched me? He asked, knowing that someone had been healed. The woman was very frightened. She knelt in front of Jesus and told him she had touched him. Jesus looked at her and smiled. Your faith has made you well, he said. Go in peace. Jesus walked on to Jairus' house, but before he got there, people came out weeping. It's too late, they cried to Jairus. Your little daughter is dead. Don't ask Jesus to come. She's not dead. She's asleep, Jesus said, and he went on to the house with three disciples, Peter, James, and John. Jesus made everyone leave the house except the mother and father of the little girl. Then he gently held the girl's hand and said, Little girl, get up. At once, the girl opened her eyes and got up off her bed. The girl's mother and father were astonished and thrilled to see their daughter alive and well. Now give her something to eat, Jesus said. But don't tell anyone about this. And he and his three disciples walked quietly out of the house. Jesus is amazing, isn't he? Yes, he is. He does amazing things. Things that our minds sometimes don't even understand. How on earth, how possible is it? For Jesus to do these amazing things. But we know 
that Jesus is God and as God who made everything in this world, there's nothing that he cannot do. Now, I don't want to think about how sad and pained Jairus must have been watching his little girl sick. He must have been very worried. But it was a good thing that Jesus was there. And when Jesus was in the town, Jairus ran to meet him and begged him to come heal his daughter. He believed that Jesus had the power to do that. And Jesus as kind and compassionate as he is, followed Jairus to Jairus's house. But then, on the way, something strange happened. This woman, who had been ill for 12 long years, now that's a long time. I don't know how many of you are up to 12 years old, but that's a very long time. And she'd spent all her money on all the doctors trying to make her well. But none of them could do anything to help her. But she had heard about Jesus. And she believed that Jesus had the power to make her well. But what she believed was even more than what every other person had believed Jesus could do. She wasn't even trying to talk to Jesus or ask him to heal her. All she wanted to do was to touch Jesus' clothes. And she knew that if she could do that, she would be well. And she pushed through the crowd and went and touched Jesus' cloth. And instantly she became well. But Jesus knew that something strange had happened. That some kind of power had left him when the woman touched him. So he asked around, who touched me? I can imagine all the people wondering, there are lots of people around you, Jesus. Please give us a break. Lots of people are shoving you back and forth. How on earth are we going to know who touched you? But Jesus knew that it wasn't just an ordinary touch. It was a special touch. And the woman said, Oops, it's me. But Jesus told her that I am so proud of you. You have so much faith. To believe that only touching the little bit of my cloth could make you well. I wish I had faith like that woman. To believe that everything is possible with God. But then that wasn't the end of the story, was it? Jesus had to get to Jairus' house where he was originally going. And when he got there, it seemed like it was too late. Jairus' daughter had died. And everyone was crying and wailing. But Jesus said, no, she's asleep. And do you know what? The people who were once crying and wailing suddenly started laughing at Jesus. Ha, 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 he's crazy, ha, ha. But Jesus sent them out of the house. And in a few minutes, Jairus' daughter was alive again. There's nothing impossible for Jesus to do. Are you sick in your body? Is there anywhere in your body that hurts? Are you going through any condition that has stopped you from doing the things that you love to do? I want to remind you that Jesus is still the same as he was back then when he healed Jairus' daughter and the woman who was ill for 12 years. And Jesus can heal you too. And all we have to do is ask him. And we will do that today when we pray. And if any of your friends is ill, you can also pray for them. Having faith, just like the woman who touched Jesus' clothes. Let us pray. Dear God, We read about the story of Jesus walking through the streets and this woman who had been ill for 12 years only had to touch his clothes and she was well. And Jesus got to Jairus' house and found out that Jairus' daughter had already died but Jesus brought her back to life. These stories in the Bible which are true, which happened a long time ago, 
makes us believe that you are able to heal us even when we are ill. So today we ask that wherever it hurts and wherever there is pain and discomfort in our bodies, that you would heal us like you healed Jairus' daughter and the woman who was ill for 12 years. We thank you because we believe that you have heard us and you will do what we have asked. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. We've come to know Jesus as the healer. And all we have to do is trust him to heal us when we ask. So until the next devotion time, take care of yourselves. Bye.